Happy 2022, my lovely Leos. This is going to be a year of action for us. I am a Leo too. Um, and they are telling us, this is not a year for planning and executing, blah, blah, blah. No, we must take action. So if you have been asleep at the wheel a little bit, uh, be mindful of it and go for it. This year is a year of balance and juggle. And so I know I'm speaking in riddles, but yeah, you have to balance life and work and desires and outcomes and realistic uh, objectives and your fantasies etc etc you need to balance everything out i feel that this is a year of reaping the you reaping what you have sold right uh the fruits of your labor let's say and again i am very biased it's hard for me to give um, a reading for leo because i am a leo um so i'm half speaking for myself i feel that i put on a lot of work in the past and this is kind of it's i'm ready to see um things manifest and that's what i see for this year however you know i did do a reading i did a, a spread we got a bunch of funky cards here that i don't care for i don't even want to read for them we got some of this i don't know what this is about i'll be very honest this is why you can never do readings for yourself or people that you know because you can not be objective so i all i know is that they bother me i don't like them and i'm not going to connect with them <laughs> having said that the rest of the spread if i get rid of the source okay let, let's get real i understand i know i know i'm being silly the source represent our um subconscious our fears our self-sabotage our getting in our way of our bliss right so this one for me when i read for anybody represents indecisiveness now again speaking for myself i can be i can get caught up in indecisiveness many times as a rule of thumb for you whether you're a leo whoever you are i'll tell you don't do it it is a trap so rip it, you know, like a bandaid, stop it. It's just a, it's a cop out. It's a way of like not making decisions. It's a way of just staying in the status quo, staying mediocre, uh, make a decision, make a decision, go for it. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't hesitate, go for it. This obviously, what is this? Depression, sadness, confusion, self-sabotage. No, right now, you know, if I look at this card and I want to connect, I say, don't want to face the music. You just, you're, you're shying away from the world. Don't do that. And this is someone who feels betrayed and other bad things. So there, I read the source which I haven't done with any of the other signs I usually um, I'm not bothered by them I'm not affected by the source but in this case because it is our sign they were like speaking to me very loudly and they bother me so um, listen if any of this resonates with you this should only be a cautionary tale of things to look out for and to be mindful because having said that, what is in store for us for this year? And this one was speaking as loudly as the source. So this had a really interesting position in the spread, really fantastic and bright and big and happy. So if you're in a relationship, I think the relationship is going to, become even better, even more joyful and fulfilling and wonderful. Maybe you'll get married this year. Uh, if you're not in a relationship, Leo, I think this is it. I think this is a year where you're going to meet your soulmate. It's a very strong, it came in very, very strongly. Uh, so that's for love and romance and money. We're making money effortlessly. And this actually was the first card that I pulled out. So this is a fact. This is the issue, what's happening, what's, you know, 
and then what covers it, oh, okay, then what covers it is temperance. So, all in all, um, all, oh, I forgot, we also got this card, the magician. So magic at your disposal, Leo. Um, we have, a, I find it to be a very interesting year for Leo. Um, it can be a very juicy year, very rewarding and lessons a lot of lessons a lot of things um, that you can grow from if you can see it that way and i hope you do i hope you see it that way i apologize if i was not as objective as i could be my apologies but of course you can go online and find um actual horoscopes for Leo, there's a billion of them, right? Um, there's so many and so many astrologers that will give us actual predictions for this year and you can look at them and see what the stars uh, have in store for you. This is a fun tarot reading that I'm doing for each sign because I am not an astrologer and I am a person and I'm a Leo, so that's why. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like or not like and share and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you again next week. Have an amazing end of the year and an even better 2022. All my love. <laughs>